say. Saying I saying Z Entertainment, I can't tell if you're like making a joke or if you actually are being serious about your comment. He says, I think we got some fake valor going on. This nid this nerd couldn't be a Marine. First of all, I've known him for almost 10 years, and he is very clearly in both the Marines and the Army. Oh, you're about to show some stuff that proves it, I'm sure. But um, if you look on his wall, right there are his dog tags. And I sent multiple pictures to Jimmernam while he was in his uniform to make the art. So I didn't even see that. Who, who thinks I'm still in Valor here? saying z i don't know if that's like a i don't know if he's saying a joke like making a like a joke towards you play a lot of video games or what oh i see it now i didn't even read that i mean it's okay you can think whatever you think man i know what i've done i don't even like hate on that it's like some childish game to me. Yeah, saying to troll. Does your dog hate you? What do you mean, does my dog hate me? That doesn't make any sense. Um, so the World, World War Three of uh, podcasts. I think I have to put people in their place. Because sometimes I just want to be left alone. Um, one thing I have a gripe, of, I have, I have, I have an issue with, is Saiyans Entertainment. Now look, Saiyans, I've been nothing but nice to you. I feel I've, I've really bent over backwards for you. I've been very gracious and nice to you. When you come in to chat and you attack. Um, Tara's show, her first show, and her friend. Uh, that doesn't sit well with me. So now, uh, um, how do I put it nicely? Because uh, I don't, I don't like that at all. And when I get pushed into a corner, um, you don't know what I'm capable of. I scare myself sometimes because I have nothing to lose. See, you don't understand. I will let you do your YouTube channel. You understand sayings? I'll let you allow you to do it, but uh, don't come over here, okay, and fuck with my people because if you do, then we have an issue. You cross the line when you come over here and you try to um, question someone who has served our country. And I know, I understand, maybe you've, I, I don't know, we're in the Navy. I don't know your background. I know you have some sort of military background, and that's cool. And we appreciate your service. But don't come in here and pretend, all right, and question somebody who has uh, served our country because when you do that, and especially when you come into my community and do it, uh, uh, that doesn't sit well with me. So, uh, World War Three. So you want it, you know? Let's go. I'm ready. Because there's a lot of things I can do to make sure you're destroyed. It's very simple for me. I've been through the ringer with Gonzo Podcast, and I'm still going through it with Gonzo Podcast, and I will continue to battle that. By the way, you fat face fuck, Jeff, the slow felon, I am ready for you. I wake up every morning being bashed in the head from every angle that I possibly can be bashed. That's what I live for, right? What drives me, what motivates me, what truly gets me out of the bed to become much more successful and better at my craft are people like you. You energize me. Without that energy, I'm nobody. So I hope I wake up tomorrow 
and there's a lot of talk out there, and you take the bait. I'm throwing my fucking line out there. Just like a fisherman, waiting for someone to grab onto my hook. And once you do, then I'm, I'm good as gold. So please, the more the better. The more the merrier. I don't care. Bring it. So it is. Maybe it is World War Three of podcast wars. Whatever you want to call it. I don't give a fuck. Let's just do this already. I'm sick and tired of waiting. Like, bring it on. I wish Jeff could call in. 